let hk be the coordinates of the point that is equidistant from the given points a1 b1 and a2 b2 therefore square root of h minus a1 square plus k minus b1 square is equal to square root of h minus a2 square plus k minus b2 square Squaring both sides, we get h square minus 2a1h plus a1 square plus k square minus 2b1k plus b1 square is equal to h square minus 2a2h plus a2 square plus k square minus 2b2k plus b2 square h square and k square cancel across the left hand side and the right hand side and this equation can be rewritten as 2 times a2 minus a1 times h plus 2 times b2 minus b1 times k plus a1 square plus b1 square minus a2 square minus b2 square is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the locus of a point equidistant from the given points can be obtained by replacing h with x and k with y, which is 2 times a2 minus a1 times x plus 2 times b2 minus b1 times y plus a1 square plus b1 square minus a2 square minus b2 square is equal to 0. This can also be written as 2 times a1 minus a2 times x plus 2 times b1 minus b2 times y plus a2 square plus b2 square minus a1 square minus b1 square is equal to 0. Dividing both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2 we get the equation of the locus. But we are given that the locus of points equidistant from A1, B1 and A2, B2 is A1 minus A2 times x plus B1 minus B2 times y plus c is equal to 0. Comparing this with the equation of the locus obtained above, we get c is equal to half of a2 square plus b2 square minus a1 square minus b1 square, which is the required answer.